The University Medical Center, the only level one trauma center in southern Arizona, is going through a tough time. The response time was great. We were airlifted here. Denise was riding in her friend's car on their way to Phoenix when their vehicle rolled over. She feels fortunate that the only level one trauma center in southern Arizona was ready to take care of her. I don't think that I would be healing the way I am, and nor would she be uh, able to move her arms had this trauma center not been here. But this hospital's level one status is in jeopardy. While a trauma center of this size would have eight to ten surgeons, the University Medical Center is serving their trauma patients with only two full-time staff surgeons. People who are here have to work longer and harder. Dr. Scott J. Lowry says the commitment of the doctors and the hospital staff is that's allowed the hospital to keep the trauma center open. It's more of a faster rotation so that we have people that we, come, that we have hired for surgeons to come in from outside places to help us fill in the gaps. If it wasn't for the trauma center here, many patients would have to drive down to Phoenix to receive treatment. There's a limited supply. Um, the lifestyle of a trauma surgeon is not one that bodes well with a nice lifestyle. The only solution, according to Zemba, is to do a better job recruiting surgeons. And everybody right now is trying to double their staff to accommodate a better lifestyle for the surgeon. Therefore, the need is driving it higher. But time is running out. The trauma center has until the end of this year to overcome the shortage, or likely lose its level one status. In Tucson, Zebi Holonuri, Cronkite Newswatch. Thanks, Nori.